I'm with you guys. On this one, I'm wondering why they're having me inspect it. This house is in terrible shape. When I say terrible shape, it's in terrible shape. I haven't found anything good yet. Siding is dilapidated. We have foundation cracks. These get worse. I can stick my finger in that one. And then the good one. That is significant settlement there. That's not good. I don't think that's working very good right there. That's a big bunch of nope. Uh, just a piece of OSB. The driveway is in terrible shape. The stairs are angled the wrong way. That's a safety hazard. That's a nice big foundation crack. The siding was shot 20 years ago. That's a big bunch of nope. So I get the comment and the questions quite often. Are there ever any houses you show up to and you just want to run away and not do the inspection? This one. That's a big bunch of nope. Here we have a water source. It's good that they have GFCI protection. That's a big bunch of nope. So the roof on this place was in terrible shape. I am seeing moisture stains that are actively wet throughout the whole house, but check out these floors. They said they can't figure out why the laminate floor keeps popping apart. Let me show you. You are not supposed to put carpet padding underneath laminate floors. Ah, uh, holy. Yeah. Oh dear Lord, baby Jesus. I tried to call the client. I literally tried to give the client his money back and not do this inspection, but he didn't answer the phone. This house has every defect you can possibly imagine and it gets worn this out. So we've got cracked floor joists. Come over here. That's your electrical box there. Another one there. Another cracked floor joist. Another cracked floor joist. Oh yeah. Nice big crack in that floor joist. Another crack in that floor joist. And another big crack in that floor joist. That's a big bunch of nope. It's my favorite part. A very wise man once told me, in life, when, when life closes one door, you find another door. And if you can't find another door, you make one. You know, like that. Mm, take a deep breath. Get some of that fresh asbestos, that nice friable asbestos dust. Mm, so good. That's a big bunch of nope. All right, we're going in. You know, you don't really need soil to hold up your foundation. Soil is overrated. Just, just hollow it out. I wonder why it cracked. That's very odd.
I'm down here in the basement and it really smells like sewer gases. I can't for the life of me figure out why. That's a big bunch of nope. We got foundation damage, eroded soil, cracked floor structure, asbestos. But why don't we go for the full trifecta here? Hmm, there we go. Nice mold growth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> to piece together a much bigger structural concern here. So let me show you. We've got pretty significant foundation cracking. And I'm seeing cracking over here as well. And then as we get into the floor structure, I'm noticing that carrier beam that's cracked all the way through. It's cracked all the way across there. You can see it's cracked here. Now with a crack like that, that's not normal checking of a carrier beam. With cracked floor joists, with cracked carrier beam, you come over here and they just took two by fours and kind of propped them up against the floor here. They've just got a bunch of random supports thrown in. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I haven't found a single good thing in this house yet. Like, I literally can go through my report and just check every box that says, I really wish I had a big giant red button in my report that said, big bunch of nope. <laughs>